with one of the best players in the country through that streak too. So uh, he definitely has played with top level competition. So I think that's part of uh, why his basketball IQ is so high and why he's gonna be able to make this transition. Illinois back on offense after that McKendry turnover. Nice post move by Nan Agwu. Can't get the shot to go though. And he will be called for a foul after the missed shot as he went up to try and grab the offensive board. Coach Gross not too happy with that call. Those were the kind of uh, fouls that Nano was kind of committing last season that got Gross really heated. That's his third foul of the game. And both teams are in the bonus with exactly 10 minutes left to play here in the second quarter. Or the second half, I'm sorry. With both teams being in the bonus, this is a chance for really both sides to, to kind of kick up that free throw percentage, which early on was a bit of a struggle. It's Brandon Drum at the line for McCundry. He made his first free throw attempt there, so here comes the second of two. It was a one one and one situation. Knocks them both down for McCundry. So the lead is now 20 for Illinois. Tracy Abrams subbed in for Jalen Tate, so he'll be running the show now on the offensive end for the Illini. Revante Rice, Joseph Bertrand, Austin Colburn, and Nana Agu, the other Illini on the floor right now. Tracy Abrams takes it hard right down the lane and hits the easy layup. He's just going to the, the part of the offense for the Illini that's worked the best of just kind of driving in and taking advantage. He was, height. he was one of the guys on the team that was really reliable last year in terms of uh, truly always attempting to get to the hoop as a first priority. Revante Rice with a no-look pass to Austin Colbert. Colbert tried to get it to Bertrand in transition, but the pass was deflected by the McKendry defender as Tracy Abrams will throw the inbounds pass. Revante Rice open in the corner. Decides not to shoot it, though. Well, Keep going on offense. Latulip gets the ball, pulls up for three. It's no good. That really is Latulip's role here, though. He'll play solid defense, but he's a great, he's a great shooter. He may be one of the best shooters on this team. The only problem is, you know, he doesn't have great size, which is going to make it dip more difficult for him to kind of get those open shots. He's had 15 points on the night for McKendry, who has started off incredibly well uh, shooting the ball has cooled off like the rest of his team since then and misses the front end of that one and one at the free throw line. Revante Rice looking for somewhere to go. Nice spin move, an incredible that's, that's acrobatic right layup now. for We've, Revante Rice. He's really shown it all in this game, especially, you know, in the when he's driving to the basket. He's shown that he can not only get fouled occasionally um, and finish on the points, but he's kind of got some smooth moves under there. He's up to 13 points now on the night. Nanagu deflects that ball. The pass tries to get up to Mike Latulip in transition. Doesn't get all the way there. McKendry pushes back. The three-point shot is an air ball, and it will be Illinois possession once again. Surprising to see, uh, or, well, if you watch the first half at least, it's surprising to see McKendry missing three-pointers because they were so hot to start out the game. It seemed like they'd never miss at all. It could have been that sense of confidence, though. Once one or two went in and they were leading on the road here against a team like Illinois, even though it's only an exhibition game, they seemed incredibly confident. And now that Illinois is starting to push back and build up this lead, that sense is uh, gone for McKendry. Nice drive by Latulip. He goes hard to the hoop. Doesn't make the layup. But there was a foul called. Latulip taking a few seconds to get up off the ground. It looks like he's going to be okay, though. Gets up under oh, yeah, he's his walking away. own power. Certainly in some pain, but seems to be fine. There's a timeout on the floor, so we'll be right back. Fighting Illini basketball will be in action on the B on the Big Ten Network on November 3rd. For more information, go to btn.com or www.fightingillini.com. 
The Fighting Illini lead the McCountry Bearcats 79 to 55. It was a slow start for the Illini at the beginning of this game, but uh, they've definitely picked it up and now have a big lead. This is the first exhibition game for both teams um, of their seasons. We've been stressing a lot in this game of how young this Illinois team is. Not a whole lot of uh, experience on it well, at the college level. But I think that if, the, if nothing else in this game, they've shown Coach John Gross and the rest of the Illinois coaching staff that they can play together fairly well, and this only being the first game of the, um, of the season. Uh, that's you know definitely something that you're going to like to see. Yeah, those young guys, I mean, they definitely might have some growing pains at points this season. But you hope uh, at least by the Big Ten conference season they've got all that worked out because there's a lot of talent and potential um, on Illinois' side of things. Nice drive there by Price for McKendry, but he couldn't get the layup to go. Illinois pushing in transition. Mike Latulip will slow it up, though. Nice pass down low by Latulip to Malcolm Hill. Hill can't get his first layup to go, but gets his own rebound and puts in the second attempt. Nice play there down low by the freshman Malcolm Hill. Something that John Gross really stresses with this team is those second chance opportunities. And, uh, you know, because it's so important in, in college basketball or any level of basketball. You know, if, you, if you're going to miss, get that offensive rebound, put it back up and get the points. Huge block there by Maverick Morgan. Then another by Joseph Bertrand. But a foul is eventually called down low on the Illini. Illinois kind of letting McKendry know right now. We're not going to give you anything easy, easy down low. I think Illinois is also trying to make up a little bit for the way this game started. They definitely want to finish strong and, if anything, just keep building on this lead to prove that uh, they just had a little bit of a slow start, but this is the team that they're uh, much more likely to be in the future than the one that started this game. Jeremy Price hit his first free throw there. Both teams have been in, uh, in the bonus for a few minutes now. And Price misses the second one. Freshman guard Jalen Tate sets up the offense for the Illini. Malcolm Hill open for three. No good. Good look there, though, by Malcolm Hill. He was, he was definitely open. He's, he's a shooter. Just couldn't get that one to fall. Open three attempt in the corner is good for Matt Murphy. Of McKendry, nice oh, stroke in the corner. To hit it, but he did. Yeah, it doesn't look like much of a shooter. He's definitely a big body in the paint, but he got that three to go. But the answer for the line was Jalen Tate running up in transition. McKendry still looking for somewhere to go on this possession with 17 seconds left now on the shot clock, six minutes in the game. Illinois is just playing some really tough defense right now in McKendry. Tough layup is no good, but the rebound by Michael Jackson off his own miss is able to put it in. Illinois now has four scorers in double digits tonight. Michael Jackson from McKendry passes off to Jeremy Price. Price tries to pump fake. Got a little too excited, though, and took a, took a step before he got going, so traveling call it there on McKendry. Are they going to keep, you know, keep the foot on the gas pedal? Or? I'm knowing John Gross, I think that's probably what they're going to do. <laughs> All young guys on the floor, too, trying to prove themselves, get themselves some minutes when the real games kick off. Maverick Morgan down to the post, goes up with two hands, finishes off the little righty jumper. Nice move there by Maverick Morgan in the paint. Maverick's got the size. He's just got to show that he can, you know, know what to do with it. Another missed shot attempt for McKendry. Kendrick Nunn with the ball on offense for Illinois. Malcolm Hill into the lane with his left hand. Off the backboard with the right hand and the finish. He'll have a chance at a three-point play there. Good job, good drive there by Malcolm Hill. We've seen Malcolm, you know, get some openings on the outside, but there he drives in and uh, finds success with it. And he does have good size, so that's something that he's going to be able to probably do for the rest of the season. Hill's free throw attempt will be to try and complete the three-point play. 
he gets it to go. And now all 11 of the Illini players have gotten points on the board and are all in the scorers column. Very impressive for the fighting Illini. Especially because you really don't know with such a young squad, you know, how guys are going to show up and they've all shown to have some kind of scoring abilities. McKendry looking to finish this one strong. Obviously, it's going to be tough with the way they started, but just looking to uh, show their coach something and uh, prove to Illinois that they're a solid competitor and prove that to everyone else, too. Jeremy Price got that layup to go for the Bearcats on that last possession. Austin Colbert tries the baseline jumper, an air ball on the attempt. But the ball deflected off a McKendry player and will stay with the Illini. Illinois will have the ball here after um, the ball is deflected out of bounds off of a McKendry player before the break. We have four minutes left to go here in the second half. Jalen Tate pulls up for three. Nothing but nut for Jalen Tate. He's having a great game tonight for the Illini. He's up to 13 points. Clinton Hoppy driving for McKendry. Can't get the layup to go off the bottom of the backboard. Jalen Tate setting up the offense for the Illini. Gets it off to Malcolm Hill. Hill pump fakes and hits the jumper. Really impressive play by the Illini right now. I'm really impressed by Jalen Tate. You know, they didn't know what he was going to be able to, you know, they knew he'd be a, a, probably a good leader coming from Simeon High School, but I don't know if they knew how, you know, what he could bring at the college level with his offensive game, but he's certainly shown some effective um, skills there. He's done a great job of taking advantage of the situation and really working hard to get to the hoop. Welcome back to Big Ten Basketball Action on the Big Ten Network. The Illini lead the visiting McKendry Bearcats 94 to 63 with three minutes and 18 seconds left to play in this game. This week on btn.com, don't miss any exciting action. Go to video.btn.com this week and check out our upcoming schedule. Go to video.btn.com for more information. McKendry now with the line here. First free throw attempt is no good. On the floor for Illinois right now is Malcolm Hill, Austin Colbert, Jalen Tate, Mike LaTulip, and Kendrick Nunn. Second free throw is good. So it's now a 30-point Illini lead. Mike LaTulip driving hard with the right hand, gets into the lane and hits the righty floater. Nice take there by Mike LaTulip. You know, even though the Illini are pulling away here at the end, you still got to give a lot of credit to this McKendry team who, you know, came in. Not a lot of people expected a whole lot, but really in the first half, they gave, they gave Illinois all they could really handle. Also, great job by Illinois, though, too. I mean, obviously, they have the superior talent, but you could tell through their added... Oh, great play by Austin Colbert. And one on the two-hand throwdown in transition. What I was going to say, it goes along with that play. I mean, not only did Illinois exploit the fact that they have the, uh, the talent advantage, but um, as you see the replay of that dunk, they also they changed their attitude well um, and really bounced back well in the first half, which is something that you need to do as a team. I mean, if you're going to try and come back from a game, you've got to have the right mindset while doing it. I don't, I don't really know how many people would have expected it, them to make these in-game adjustments during the, the first game of the season for such a young team because, you know, for experienced guys, they can make that adjustment probably a lot easier because they've really seen it all. But for the coaching staff of this Fighting Illini team, they can see that they've got some guys who, although they're you know young in age, they're showing a lot of maturity on the court. That was a travel call there on Logan Carson of McKendry. So there will be a Illini ball once again, looking to surpass 100 points tonight with just under two and a half minutes left to go. Jalen Tate taking his time setting up the offense. Great spin move there by Malcolm Hill. And then he's knocked to the floor. Foul called there on McKendry. And Malcolm Hill will go to the free throw line for the Illini. Coach Harry Statham of McKendry, the all-time wins leader in men's basketball in NCAA history, is sending 
five subs to the table. He will bring in five new players after this first free throw by Malcolm Hill. Hill gets the first one to go, and McKendry sends in a whole new lineup. Five guys come in with two minutes and 17 seconds left. Given some of those guys who had that opportunity to play in this game, you know, some minutes out there. Malcolm Hill misses that one. So Illinois stuck on 99 for now for the night. There was a foul on that loose ball though, so now McKendry will go to the other end and shoot free throws as both teams are in the bonus and have been for a while. Maverick Morgan subs in as Malcolm Hill comes out after uh, a good showing by the freshman. I mean, it's just good to see all these guys get on the court and uh, get a chance, really. Koch misses that free throw for McKendry. So Jalen Tate setting up the Illini offense once again. Maverick Morgan down low. Nice spin move towards the baseline and goes off the backboard with the jumper. Nice play there by Maverick Morgan. The fans get excited as Illinois has surpassed 100 points. There's a little concern with, uh, with Maverick Morgan about, you know, if he, you know, how much, you know, he knows how to do when he's under the basket in the post. And I think he's answered some of those, those uh, criticisms in this game. Definitely looking good so far. He's Showing a big body. I mean, when he's on the court, you're definitely expecting him to play solid defense and grab rebounds. Um, Michael Tula pulls up for the three for the Illini, no good. But yeah, I mean, I think Morgan's gonna have to come in and not necessarily take so much of the offensive responsibility away from Eglu, but just take up the fact that he's the, he's the body, he's the big guy um, that the defense is focused around. A minute 15 seconds now left in this game as McKendry sets up their offense. They trail 101 to 66. Three pointers up and no good. The tip in is also no good, and Illinois will control the rebound. A minute left on the clock now. Jalen Tate drives hard. His pass is deflected, but Kendrick Nunn catches it. He's wide open in the corner. His three-point attempt is an air ball, though we're under a minute left to play here in this game. Kendrick may, may have been a little bit too open there. <laughs> Got too excited. Three-pointer is up and no good. Another air ball from McKendry. That one was Kyle Yates. There's 30 seconds left, no shot clock. Illinois will presumably just hold the ball here and sit on this 101-66 lead as the home crowd gives their approval for the Illini in what turned out to be a blowout but started out as quite the opposite. This is really a game where Illinois showed that they could make those adjustments with the young team that they have, which is gonna be nice going forward for, for John Gross and his squad. The final whistle is blown, and Illinois finishes off Mc the Mc visiting McKendry Bearcats in their first exhibition game of the season, 101 to 66. What really stood out to you tonight, Sam? It was the adjustments. I, I mean, I know I just mentioned it, but you know, you knew that this Illinois team had talent. The question was, how would they, you know, kind of play in the face of adversity? And, and they think that that's really something that they showed tonight. Again, it's not against the best team out there; it's against the McKendry team that came in with a lot of confidence and gave them a good game early on, but. You know, Illinois was able to adjust and really show them something tonight. Great to see all the freshmen get on the court for the Illini, too, as uh, the youth and energy is definitely something to look forward to. Um, but that's about it for tonight. For my partner, Sam Sherman, I'm Brett Lerner. We hope you enjoyed our broadcast of Illinois basketball here on the Big Ten Network. Uh, Illinois finished it out 101-66. to 66. Thanks again for listening.